first heard about these Magdalene laundries. I didn't know too much about them, but these mother and baby homes. I only closed in 1998. Do you know that woman? The last time I saw her, she was walking away with my baby. This was happening within Ireland, and people don't know about it at all. The woman in the wall sent us around a woman called Lorna. Lorna is a survivor of both Magdalene Laundries and the mother and baby homes in Ireland. Lorna suffers from a very strange sleepwalking habit. And the story really kicks off when she finds a dead body in her house one morning and has no idea how the body got there. I found it difficult in times knowing the woman in the wall is based on true events. Fill me in. What's happened? I play Coleman, a quite competent young detective. This new case is a double-edged sword for Coleman. He might discover truths that he does not want to unpack. We don't believe in ghosts. Doesn't mean we're not afraid of them, though. The show itself is a mix of many different genre tropes. It's a horror story, it's drama, hey! and it's dark humor. <gasps> It's about getting this story out to a wider audience and reminding people that it's true. It's a story that needed to be told, and people are in for a roller coaster ride. Thirty years ago, the convent stole our children, hundreds of them. Fill me in, what happened? Brother Percy Sheehan, blunt force trauma. Lorna Brady, she's not right in the head. I heard about some of the things that you do when you sleepwalk. Kind of violent things, no? What business is that of yours? I'm the one asking the questions, Lorna. I think my daughter's alive. I have to find her. Lorna has something to do with all of this. <gasps> well, that's not good. Sorry, Jesus. Tread very carefully. I'm just trying to find my child! We couldn't possibly fathom that such evil could exist in this country.